It's cow time! <laughs> giggling throughout because these huge boxes arrived <laughs> okay let me backtrack a little bit the Sasana Kal is going to be happening it's going to be starting on February 23rd and it's the very first escape use knit along and they've asked me to be the designer and I've been working on this for at least a year and a half and um, it's been amazing and um, I've been also selling some kits through my website it's it's been crazy it's almost sold out already um, but yeah so the kits arrived and I'm gonna show you what they look like so it's, it's a huge box <laughs> and just because I could not lift them upstairs to my office I'm unpacking them here in my living room oh my god oh my goodness here are the kits this is the Erica one oops almost dropped it the Erica kit Erica is Latin for Heather and yeah I'll, I'll have way more background information later um, and it shows what's in the kit and the pillow as well, how it will look. So the one here behind me, this is from the Rosa kit. Um, and this is the Claire cushion with the uh, clovers on it. And there's another one, which is the Jamie cushion, because this is the Sassanachal, which is uh, inspired by the TV series Outlander. So here's the Erica. Let's see, I have a bunch of Ericas in here. all of the kids um, so yeah I am not going to open one because these are all already sold on my website and if I open the box I have to cut the label so of course I'm not going to do that um, but there are six colors in each of the kits and there are uh, two uh, balls in there per color and one of the colors which is the lightest one for each kit has a tiny 10 gram ball extra uh, just so you have enough to finish both of, both of the cushions uh, so you have 12 balls and a little bit <laughs> of yarn in there and as you can see I have three colorways uh, so the Rosa, Circium and Erica colorway and they're all Latin names for flowers uh, the Circium being the Latin name for thistle um, Rosa being the Latin name for you guess it rose and Erica means heather and um, these are the national flowers of Scotland and England and Erica kind of um, symbolizes the link between Scotland and myself because um, when I went to Scotland in 2019 I remember just you know the scenery is just breathtaking and I remember also seeing some heather fields and that really reminded me of the heather fields here back home and um, 
the heather fields where i uh, took some of the pictures uh, which I will put on the screen for you right now is actually here. Well, it's it's about 20 minutes away from me It's in the Brunsemerheide and uh, Yeah, it was just really really beautiful to see when the heather was all nice and purple and um, Yeah, so those are the three colorway names um, I will also put uh, pictures up of the actual you know how how the colors look so the Circium kit I have a little swatch here this is my swatch for the clear cushion of the Circium kit so thistle and um, I'll put the big cushion up on the screen as well or the two cushions because you have the clear cushion and the Jamie cushion and Behind me, I have the clear cushion in um, rosa colors, and you see as I put this swatch over it. See, this is the Circium color, and this is the rosa color, and um, I made sure that the colors are all nice and contrasting so that you see the patterns, which is very important uh, and with the Erika kit um, these clovers are gonna be um, it's like really deep purple uh, like a wine red and um, I'll put it up on a screen and there are uh, there is a vibrant pink in there and two deep greens um, and just I love all of the kits. I think the Circium might be my fave because this was the first kit that I did. And this one, um, you'll see it more in the uh, Jamie cushion, but this, the colors in this um, are more linked to the um, Fraser Tartan colors in, uh, in the actual Outlander series. So, um, so yeah, that, that was where I drew my inspiration from and the red is of course because of his red hair and you know his nickname Red Jamie and uh, then for Claire, um, um, I had already picked some of these colors and I was actually thinking of uh, having one kit with like 10 or 12 colors but as that was way too much then I split that into two so the more green and soft colors uh, went into the Claire pack uh, I mean <laughs> the Rosa colorway but that's kind of like Claire's colorway um, so you have the really soft minty green in here and with a dark olive green um, and another really soft minty kind of blue uh, this Marseille and then a medium blue um, and then to contrast that with this beautiful brick red um, and you'll see that in the clear cushion I have lots of uh, floral uh, themes so there's of course the clovers the rose um, in Jamie's cushion there is a thistle um, pattern and here there are some vines and these are all oh and and this one so this one you can kind of see it like this which um i think well which you know <laughs> in my inspiration this is the gemstone um so not to say too much about the show if you haven't watched it or the the series uh but you need gemstones for certain things um, or you can see it like this, where it's kind of like a, a four-leaf clover or maybe a flower. So I like that, yet yeah, that you can see it in different ways. So I have lots of floral themes in here. And, um, oh, and of course, an another little clover here. I love clovers. Um, and a little feminine tartan pattern and for um for jamie i've uh, i have some more tartan patterns and i have some traditional fair isle patterns in there as well and actually here as well this is also a fair isle pattern um because traditional fair isle patterns you have peeries which are kind of like um 
very small rows. This is also a period pattern um, to kind of separate bigger charts. And then you have the XO patterns um, or the OXO patterns, I think they're also called because you kind of have an X in here and then an O. And this is less, this is a bit more subtle because the O in here is a flower. And then you see the X? So uh, the Jamie Cushion has more patterns like that uh, because Fair Isle is, of course, uh, a part of Scotland. Uh, so I thought uh, I should put some traditional Fair Isle patterns in there. Um, yeah, and then what did I? Oh, yeah, and then the Erica kit. Um, this was because I love pink and purple and I wanted to create a kit that was <laughs> pink and purple and greens is kind of it's kind of my colors even though Circium is my favorite but um, yeah I love pinks and greens so um, and I wanted to have another option and I just love the Erica version um, so it has a really deep Rhine red and beautiful deep greens and I don't know if you can tell, but our living room sofa is deep, deep emerald green. Um, and all of the cushions just work so well with this. So yeah, this was what I wanted to show you. So um, yeah, unfortunately I can't open a box together with you. But um, yeah, I am going to be packing these later today. And I wanted just to record a video while, you know, being this excited about opening up um, the big box and seeing the kit for the first time. So, because, can we just have a moment for this logo? Isn't it completely amazing? You see the rose in here and the thistles and then also the heather and... Oh, it's, it's just perfect. It's perfect! And, um... Um, so there will be badges for Team Rosa, Team Circean, Team Erica, and also Team Free Spirit because yes, we encourage you to pick your own color scheme and uh, just roll with it and um, I will have loads of tips and tricks um, on that. I think that deserves a separate video. Especially if you're doing the Escapius Metropolis color pack, which is kind of this huge like artist palette box um, uh, Where you have 80 colors and that will be loads of fun uh, Just puzzling all of the colors um, But that will be a separate video But just because I know lots of people are already starting to pick their favorite Escapius Metropolis um, colors because they have a huge color range. They have 80 colors and um, so you can you can take your pick. You only need six colors uh, and you can do even more. So, but what I advise, oh the color just went out of the this, out of this screen. So what I advise is to pick three light colors and three dark colors and the three light colors will be your ABC and the three dark colors will be your DEF and um, in the uh, charts and the powder and I mean um, I'm not sure if that was clear um, so but you can always choose more colors so say you choose four light and four dark. Um, what I will say is to choose an even number. You can also choose one light and one dark. I mean, that would, and that would be way more economical for you if, if Scapies Metropolis is just a bit out of your budget. Um, if you choose just two colors, um, or maybe four colors and then two light, two dark, um, because you have a bit left over from each color, um, I think you could do that with uh, fewer colors, so, and then maybe you would need less skeins in total. So that's just a tip if you're thinking of putting together your own uh, colorway um, because I, I do really recommend Skippy's Metropolis for this uh, pattern 
and I don't see any real alternatives for it yet, so uh, I would love it if you got the chance to work with Escape Peace Metropolis. Maybe if you're working on a budget um, and if you want to follow the original colors, maybe just buy one ball of each first. That will get you through um, maybe even the entire first pillow, but uh, for sure, like, up until here or something. I think the, the very light color, uh, the background color here, which is color A, that will be the first to run out. Uh, but you can get like up into like week four or something of the first pillow uh, before you need another ball. So for sure you can like save your way to uh, to a full set of cushions and the inner cushions you can get just get those from Ikea there are uh, 50 centimeters square um, which is the most common inner cushion size I made sure to uh, to accommodate for that because I don't want to be creating a cushion cover where you can't get inner cushions for right um, and if your cushion cover is a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller, you can always put in some extra stuffing or take out some stuffing. So, so what I want to say is like, go with the flow. <laughs> and uh, if you if the kits don't work for you or if uh, if they are too expensive for you, then there are several ways you can go about it. So. Yeah, and uh, do also share your photos, share your colors, share your kits in the Scapius Facebook groups. You can find them um, so on Facebook. There is the Scapius International Group and the Scapius uh, Nederlandse Group, so the Dutch group. Um, and yeah, we are all there cheering you on and loving all of your colors. And yeah, so we would love for you to come and share all of that with us. So I think that is it for this video because I know I can ramble on, but I know it also won't be very um, interesting. So I will see you in a future video. And in the meantime, keep on tagging your posts with Sassanach Cal and Scapius Cal 2022. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.